baby bus. Sparky doesn't want to sleep. With Dougal Fish, do 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 do. Giant shark, do 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 do. It was bedtime, but Sparky had picked up his little toy goldfish and was running back and forth, while Fireball followed behind carrying a toy shark. Roar! The giant shark is going to eat the little goldfish. Roar! Ooh, you can't eat me! <laughs> Just then, tap, tap, tap. Mother walked in. Don't play now. It's bedtime. If you can't get up tomorrow, you won't get to go out and play. Oh no! I don't want to go to sleep. I want to keep playing. Oh, let me play. Sparky fell to the floor, whining and kicking his feet. When Fireball saw this, he wanted to laugh. <laughs> Sparky, you look like you're swimming on the floor. <laughs> Sparky, listen to mommy. Go to bed now. Uh, no! I want to keep swimming. I'm not tired. I do not want to sleep. <laughs> Fireball rolled his eyes. An idea came to him. He whispered to Mother, "Mom, I know how we can get Sparky to sleep." Fireball took Sparky's hand and led him to the bed. Sparky, it isn't very comfortable to swim on the floor. Come on, let's swim on the bed. Oh、uh, no! I want to play shark eats goldfish. <laughs> You have to practice swimming first. If you swim fast, I won't be able to eat you. Uh, okay. But how do I swim on the bed? Fireball collapsed onto the bed and began kicking his feet and waving his hands wildly, like this: kick, go, move your arms, ooh, ooh. swim a hundred strokes. Fireball's plan was for Sparky to swim until he wore himself out. When he was tired, he would fall asleep. One, two, three, four. Sparky lay flat on the bed and started kicking and waving his arms. He swam a hundred strokes. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred. Sparky swam on the bed until he was very tired. Sparky, you're tired now, aren't you? Let's go to bed now. Oh no! I don't want to go to bed. I want to play shark eats goldfish. Oh no! Fireball's plan had failed. Fireball thought, "Oh man, I'm tired. How come Sparky still doesn't want to sleep?" Fireball could only keep playing with Sparky. Okay, okay. The adventure under the sea begins. Chomp. Chomp, chomp! I'm a shark. My teeth are very sharp. <sighs> I'm gonna bite your leg. Go away, giant shark! <laughs> I can swim very fast. Come on! You can't catch me. <laughs> you can't catch me. <laughs> Fireball turned off the light. It was very dark in the room. This is great. You swam into a dark cave. It's dark in here. You can't see anything. Oh no! The giant shark is going to bite you. Ooh! Help! Fireball, save me! Fireball covered Sparky with the soft blanket. Don't be afraid. You've wrapped in a jellyfish submarine. You're rescued. <sighs> The jellyfish submarine is so comfortable. Shh, softly. The giant shark can hear you. Oh, okay. I'll zip my mouth shut. Sparky lay wrapped in the blanket. He obediently closed his eyes and kept his mouth shut. Then, you need to silently count to a hundred. Uh, I don't know how to count to a hundred. I'll count with you. One, two, three, four. Mumbling, Sparky counted along with Fireball. When they reached ten, <sighs> 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 
Aha! Sparky fell asleep. Shh! Let's be quiet. We don't want to wake him. 